Welcome back to the High Sierra Report. I'm your host, Mike Perrin, and we have a new business in Gardnerville called Sierra Gourmet Grill and Wine Bar. So you've stepped it up. I mean, you were here last summer and you had a catering business with dry rubs and you'd take all of the food to the folks. But you became so popular, you're like, hey, come on back to me. Come on into my space. So, yeah. um, Thanks for coming into the studio today, Larry. Uh, tell us what you brought here in front of us, because you said this is one of your most popular items. You're going to start bagging them here soon, and then we'll get into the rest of the details. Yeah, thanks, Mike, for having me. I really do appreciate it. But you're right. Uh, those homemade chips and our house-made mango salsa are just off the chart popular in the restaurant. So I did want to bring you a sample, let you taste it, see what you thought. I, I tasted one during the break. I still got the taste in my mouth. It's watering. I want to dig in right now, but we'll leave it nice and pretty for TV. Um, so you're known for those. Obviously, this is sort of growing on you guys. But where you started, where your where your real uh, attributes come out, or in your in your sauces. Talk about those. Yeah, we make those. All four of those items are made in house. Uh, they're my recipes, and what we do is, you know, it's all organic, natural products. There's no preservatives, no additives. So everything is fresh. It's made in small batches. And those dry rubs actually won a first place at a national competition uh, late last year. So okay. we're really kind of proud of that. And the barbecue sauce is getting quite a bit of attention lately as well. So we're super happy about you know having these under our label and making it you know, part of the restaurant. So you're using some of those buzzwords, the organics and all of that. Uh, but what you guys are really priding yourselves on is keeping it local. That's what a lot of people want to hear. Yeah, and we are super, super big on, you know, as much as we can do locally, we do. You know, so we have some local artists that adorn our walls with their artwork, which is just phenomenal stuff. Mm -hmm. And we've got other local made products inside of our retail part of the restaurant as well. Kind of like a really small version of the Cracker Barrel type okay. of restaurant yeah. where we've got some retail going on in there. But a small, you know, crafts that are made locally it just yeah all local stuff you and know someone that's not very small especially in the carson minden gardnerville valley schatz bakery that's one oh. of your main partners talk about that partnership yeah we hooked up with paul schatz bakery out of carson and we're using all of our bread products come from them and when people find out that we're using that you know they just get super excited <laughs> and i was telling you on the break that when we first were testing their product you know and how it was going to be compatible with ours and you know what recipes we we're going to utilize them with when I ate the first sandwich using their ciabatta roll, which is what we you know serve our tri-tip and chicken sandwiches on, I was a little jealous that like <laughs> my gosh, that bread is so good that you know it competes with my tri-tip. But it really is a, a great partnership there, and we're super happy. Sounds to have like them a good board. compliment. You got some tender tri-tip, some tender bread. Oh man, I'm I'm getting. I know, I know. Yeah, right well, now. that's the whole point. You know, get right? y'all hungry to come in. And then um, while we wrap it up, talk about the wine bar side of it. Yeah, well, the wine bar and that the wine bar itself. Real quick, little thing here. It's made out of reclaimed wood from the Angora fire. So we've got wow, some really cool. nice cedar up there. Yeah, it's 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 one of a kind. Okay. It is just beautiful. But we're doing a lot of local wines there as well. So from the Sierra foothills, uh, really, that's our main focus. We have some other wines from you know Napa and Europe as well. But our real big push is the local wineries out of the foothills. Yeah. So um, give the people the information where they can find out more, find your menu, some photos of the place. Yeah, we're all online on Facebook. So it's Sierra Gourmet Grill and Wine Bar with the Nevada Unique Store is you know, our Facebook page. And yeah, our menu's on there, our hours, our phone number, 775-392-2970. And uh, we're Nearest down... landmark to the building? Yeah, okay. O'Reilly's Auto Parts, we're right across the street from there in Gardnerville, and then we're about a block north of Rayleigh's Market. So we're okay. real close. Thanks for coming in, Larry. Uh, thanks for having me, really do appreciate coming it. Out and yeah. it out. I'm gonna dig into these chips <laughs> and mango salsa. We'll be back with more High Sierra Report right after this.